The Hugo Chavez Rehab Center has turned out many success stories over the years and there are plans in the pipeline for improvements. Even though the center has the capacity to accommodate 200 persons, there are only 88 persons at the facility. Commissioned in 2013, the Hugo Chavez Center for Rehabilitation and Reintegration caters for homeless persons between the ages of 17 to 64. The persons are referred to the center by social workers. We have social workers, the ministry has social workers all over, the hospital all over. They review the cases and then if they see that fit that these people desire to come here, they do their normal write-up. But when they come here, they have to be seen by our doctor assist and placed into general population. That was Administrator Carol Joseph. The center's main aim is to reintegrate persons back into society and return them to their families. At the facility, they are treated, counseled, taught to read and make craft items. They are also trained to make a livelihood through agriculture. They are involved in the agriculture aspect. I took the team to the kitchen garden that we have there. They are involved in that. We also have um, the library. We have a well-stocked library where we teach basics, numeracy and literacy sub to some of them. And we also do needle craft. As it relates to persons in need of therapy, this is done at the Fort Wellington Hospital's Rehab Center, also located on the west coast of Burbies. From 2016 to this year, its doctor and nurses at the facility have been able to successfully reunite 83 persons with their families. But for Ms. Joseph, there is one case which stood out involving a young man from Region 3. You know, his family had given up on him because he was on drugs and things like that. And, um, I decided to call, use my own call and talk to them and so on and work with him. And I was able to get his mother to come and visit and she bought him a minibus. He doesn't know to drive, but his brother-in-law drove and he was the conductor. And today he's, he's um, he still has his minibus. He still calls the center. Christmas time he visited and he brought sweets and goodies for the other residents. And he, I always talk about him. During a person's stay at the facility, family members are allowed to visit and monitor the positive changes. When the center was launched in 2013 with funding from the Venezuelan government, it was portrayed by the then government that the center will be a haven for homeless persons from all over the country. However, there are still a number of homeless persons roaming the streets. Minister of Social Protection Amna Ali explained that the majority of those persons do not want to stay in confinement, a facility in which there are rules. The ministry plans to improve the center and its services in the future. Baby Katun, Newsroom.